been a while. I think people probably haven't seen me play 18 holes in months. Been part of a couple scrambles, but Frankie's out there playing all the time with Trent. They're doing breaking 90. You see those guys play 18. A couple of huge travel series coming up. So we're going to do state of the game. I post videos where I do uh, four play verse, play one hole, play three holes, work on my game every day, daily nine, which everybody loves, obviously. So we're out here at my favorite course in Arizona. This is the Wico Pa Saguaro course. I've posted probably five holes from here before that I've played, but never the whole thing. Core Crenshaw on a Native American reservation of Wico Pa. So there's really no homes on the course. You got the four peaks, mountain views. It's fantastic. So uh, my course handicap here would be a four. People think I'm like a 400 handicap. Actually, it would be a course four here, uh, which would be a 75. You're supposed to shoot your handicap like one out of five times or so. Um, so we'll see if I could come close to that. First hole is like 440, par four, kind of a tough one. This is gonna be fun. It's also like 97 degrees out at 6 a.m. So it's gonna get real dicey. How many times do you play here? Probably six or seven. I probably played like two or three times here that were like reasonable expectations. And the other five, it was like a buddy's trip where like people, we were yeah. buckled by the back yeah. nine. <laughs> all right, another thing to keep an eye out for today are uh, evil little serpent snakes. They're all over the place in the middle of, it's like mid-July when we're filming this. And we are out in Fountain Hills, in the mountains, desert everywhere. We absolutely will see a snake or two today, I think. And they are mean. So, Bush, I don't want you scanning. You can't scan when you're looking for balls. You got to look fucking down. So be careful. All right. So right pin kind of calls for a cut. I don't have a cut. Uh, so I'm just going to try to hit it right at it. If it draws, great. Cut. Left side. Yeah, just off the front left, I think. Wasn't the most pretty divot of all time, but we're uh, we're up there by the green. That's a pretty good start. A little bit dewy. I should probably be chipping this. I don't know that I could chip this this early in the morning. What an effort. What an effort. This is where you could be really proud of yourself. Good drive, pretty decent iron, great touch or you could be suicidal uh, and say, you know what, I suck. Like I did everything the best I could and I still somehow missed a foot and a half putt. This should be pretty makeable here. Even, even through one. Second hole is a little bit dealer's choice if you look. It's like 316 right there. You can hit driver. If you hit a good one like I did on the first hole, it'd be like a little chip onto the green, but you got to really thread one up there. I'm going to hit two iron. Wasn't the best strike, but it's in the fairway, just up the left side. Shouldn't be too far in. A little clanky, a little early. I did stand over being like, wow, we have a two iron, okay. All right, early for a two iron. There's a lot of dangerous shit out here. There's jumping choyas, cacti that'll just jump at you. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. That's, what, what is that? Yeah, that's, you know, that's another <laughs> thing we should, we think Why? should be a little bit illegal. Yeah. All right, got 153. A little clunky, chank, clanky two iron, but that's why you hit the two iron. I think that same swing with the driver would probably Going back to the clubhouse. Just left of it. Oh yeah. I think that's pretty good, Bush. I'm kind of doing this lunge thing at the ball, but it's turning out nice. I can feel that I'm like, like lungy at it, but lungy's working right now. So watch out for lungy today. Oh yeah, about 15 feet it looks like, 10, 15 feet. We'll take that. Body's not really moving yet. Let's make, here's a like, typical golfer, let's make this, but also like the big thing in my head is let's not three putt this. Let's just not, let's not three putt this. There's a free lesson. Look at that. Oh, 
Give it a run, Bush. I was thinking was like, imagine the guy that putts on camera every day just misses his putt. That's kind of what I'm thinking every all day over putts. So eventually that's gonna probably catch up to us. But good luck. Just a couple, just a couple bars. Just a couple bars. This one is a strong, strong dog leg left. You can kind of, you know, if you got some balls, you can kind of cut off quite a bit up the left side. I'm gonna hit this kind of up the right center. I never saw it. Right side. Didn't see the land, but it was going towards the left side of that bunker. A little further right than we wanted, but I didn't hit it very good. I think I kind of pop scooped it out to the right, but it's fine. Yeah, for another 6.40 a.m. drive, that's fine. All right, we got 171. I think it plays a little bit up, and my body, like I said, I'm doing the Mr. Lungy's back. So, again, I'm not good enough to, like, think my way through the green, so I'm just going to hit it right at it. Fuck it, see what happens. Right side. Okay. Maybe a little short right. We got another long one for birdie. That's kind of been my MO lately. Playing the member guest last weekend, which we won. But I, they called me 30 feet for birdie, just every hole. No, like, is it never a threat to make birdie? But pretty consistent. Dude, the orange and black is like the course is telling you that it's the bad guy. Those are such villain colors. A lot of them are friendly, they're like, candy cane, like white and red or white and black and like a cool white flag. And those are just like fuck you flags, which I love. Sit. No, not that, not that bad. It's never easy, is it? Every hole I've had this, bound to miss one of them. Even, couple bars, couple can be, hopefully be a handful of bars, and we'll just have to be 18 bars. Imagine if I made 18 bars. I don't know if those look exactly like jumping choyas. I'm not sure if those are them. They're a little bit more sneaky, like that thing over there where they're like fuzzy looking, but if you get close, they're actually just needly. And those things will, I have a picture of a guy that had to go, I wasn't there, but somebody sent it to me, of a guy who had to call 911 because he fell into a jumping choya. And they're like, po they have like poison needles to a degree. So if you get enough of them, it'll like fuck you up. Like. R5, 609. This is the number one handicap hole uh, on the golf course. Very difficult hole, as you can probably imagine. It's just... 609 yards is just too many yards. So a lot can go wrong, but hitting it pretty good. So I'm just gonna aim right over that bunker and just kind of send it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. Tight draw up the left side. We love it. So they gotta just, camera is too hot. You gotta get a video of that, that's electric. We just got a beep, 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 beep. I've never seen before. It said camera is too hot, and then it turned off. By the way, it's only 7 in the morning. So it gets like 30 degrees hotter than this is currently. <laughs> camera is too hot. I hate to see that. I hope your camera's okay, man. We got a solid 340 to the pen. Last two iron was ugly. It went like 150, so this is a big shot. There we go. That was hit good. That was hit much better. Yeah, I had nice audio, hey? I got 140, I think we had 349 before, so that thing probably went 210 or something like that. Not, not necessarily smoked. I thought I'd get more chase, but I think it landed right here in the upslope. So I got plenty of room out in the green left of it, which is good, because I tend to draw slash over the top smother hook it. So again, I'm gonna aim right at it and see what happens. Way left. Down. It'll be a chip and a putt, it looks like. Just a poor effort over there, fellas. 
poor, poor nine iron. Talked myself into it. Dr. Brett McKay would not be happy with that move. I'm gonna smother hook it. Nice no, smother hook it. So, so much room up here on this beautiful, soft, flat surface with low mowed grass. But no, let's go in this big pit of fucking sand over here. That's a good idea. We got a putt. Amazingly, we're outside of our two and a half to three and a half foot range. So that's gonna be an unfamiliar territory. This would be a big one. This fucking thing straight? I think it's pretty straight. Bogey. Imagine being able to hit an iron close to a golf hole. That'd be sweet. Ugly, ugly bogey. But we got, you know, got a lot more holes to do this, so I'll try to do better. All right, this is a stunning hole here. Pin, I believe it looks like it's back. Middle kind of, back middle. So it's 167 it says. I'm gonna hit like a little flighted seven. For a guy who couldn't hit an iron, couldn't hit a green with his iron, couldn't hit a green with an iron to save his life. I'm now gonna hit a flighted seven, everyone. Chunked it. Into that bunker again. T was here, I think. So there's turf before it that has now been eliminated. Not good. Not good. Let's get this out in the middle part of the green right of the pen. I think it should all kind of drift that way. Oh, God. Shit. Shit. Oh. Almost got lucky, I thought, with it for a second there. Oh, it's a little bit longer bunker shot. Not great at those. Hmm. This is a desert shot. I mean, as a local, you kind of get used to these. A little rocky, a little deserty. You almost could putt it, would almost be smarter. You can run into a lot of trouble trying to bump some of this. Shot. Let's see if I should heroically putt it up there. You ready for this, Bush? Dicey spot. I don't love my chances to clip it off of this. I don't really know where I would hit it. I guess I could get like an eight iron and bump it through there, maybe? I like the putter. Let's go putt it. This is a show after all. Go in. Sit. Now sit. Now sit. Oh, ball shot. Local. Rapids, you move to the desert, you just learn how to play out of the desert. What a desert two putt for bogey. But what a desert two putt that is. That could be a life changer. Back-to-back -back bogues. Bogies were gonna happen. We were all laughing and giggling about 18 pars and then just bang, bang, bogey, bogey. So that's what we get. It's Carmo, they call that. Tricky part four here. You gotta kind of send it up the right side with a draw is our shot shape. So I'm gonna aim well out to the right because anything left is usually not bueno. Oh no, soft. All right, in that hay stuff up there, we might have a first reptilian encounter, which could be dicey. <laughs> That's fine, I think. You motherfucker. <laughs> that had to scare the hell out of you. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's going to feel way worse than that if something happens. But that was, that was a good move there, Jonesy. I like it. Keep him on his toes. This one, I think, this is a movable object, right? Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. We're back. 110.7. We got 110 yards, two feet, and two inches to the hole. Okay, about by, by a gap wedge, I think. This 
Stop. 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 Yeah, it's just thin and shit. God bless America. Got another up and down for Pogi. We gotta keep this thing going. Keep it going. Thought that was gonna break right. A little misread, but we got a big bogey putt again. Oh, had it going the other way. All right, a lot of bad shots there. It was ugly. Hit bad shots, you make bad scores. Our first double of the day. Oh, I almost killed Bush with a wedge, too. So I was, thank God we didn't. That would have sucked. We got like four short holes in a row. Short part four, short part five, short part three, short part four. So let's make some, let's play these next one in one or two under. That'd be next four. Next four, at least one under. just hit two iron here but for whatever reason I kind of like the driver it's only like a 300 yard par four Healy yeah Healy missy kind of weak but that's fine should be a wedge I got about 79 yards I got a little 56 degree wedge God, go, go a little. Chunking everything, what the fuck? Look at that, that's just disgusting. You fucking ass clown. 30 feet for birdie. Scoopy, turfy, just loser wedge, fucking crap. Same distance all day. <laughs> Heel like slap a driver, chunk a wedge. You know, you got to make a five footer for par. Gettable par five here. Need a good drive, put ourselves in position. That was piped. There we go. <laughs> Make a birdie, kid. We got 230. Hole's about 500 yards, so I piped that 270. That's a pipe for me. I don't really hit it that far, so. A little turfy first, but that should be just short right. All right, let's fucking go. Let's put a good move on this little pitch. Chipping a putt here. Chipping a putt here for the kids. Let's go. Positive PVO, Max Homa. PVO. All right, we got a straightforward little pitch kind of up the hill. There's a false front. You got to get it over, so that's why I'm going to go with the old 56 instead of the 60. Get a little bit more release. Just scooping everything, man. Oh my God. Just scooping everything. That is just so disappointing. That was horrible, but if you really look, if that went three more yards, that would have been really good. So I'm being a little hard on myself. 56, one hop, checks, rolls out a couple feet. Instead, you just fucking scoop a loop. Here we go again. Par. Back to back pars. Should have been birdie looks. Should have been birdie looks, but they weren't. Keep the momentum going. We're gonna heat up. We're gonna hit the golf ball first on one of these uh, one of these irons or wedges too. We're gonna hit the golf ball before the ground coming up soon. That's a little teaser before this commercial break. Riggs will hit a golf ball before the ground.
This is kind of a staple of the core crunch hauls. They always got a short, treacherous par three that's kind of gettable if you hit a good one and bad spots if you hit a bad one. God, I just cannot pure an iron right now. Just a little right of it, I said, and I hit it a little left of it. That is such a bad spot. Jesus, man. I just want to be able to hit a fucking iron right now. God, two in a row. What the fuck is that? Oh, no. That's such an easy golf shot. Why am I blading wedges all the time? Yeah, that's just like, kind of wet scraggly stuff that's really hard to chip out of. Our short holes can get you. Although, you know, let's say if you blade a bunker shot and then chunk a chip, you're like, I don't, it doesn't matter what the hole is, it's probably gonna be hard. All right, we need a 42, like 30, 36 would be nice. Ah, that was good. Pretty ugly front there. Had it going. Just got to keep kind of plotting along. It really threw away a lot of shots, which is infuriating, but also kind of what amateur golfers do every day. Pretty much what all golfers do all day. So we're going to try. Short par four here. Never saw it. Way right? Yeah, it was like towards the those patch of trees there. It was towards that second right, the second one on the right. All right, not the worst spot, not the best spot. We gotta kind of hit it through a tree. It's got some mean needles on it. As long as those branches don't fuck us too hard, I think we got a little, like maybe a seven iron through there or something. Are you seeing these things? That's what I'm saying. I don't care about like a little branch. I'm saying like this thing is fucking problem dude i mean i got i want to hit a good shot so, ah. 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 fuck me ow fuck ow fuck dude all right you gotta want it No good, look at that bush. Might make my game better with the irons. I don't know. I don't know, man. Try it again, I guess. Go. Go. All right, better. We're right behind maintenance. So every time we get up here, it's like the green, the area all around the green. It's like soaking wet and like soupy. That would have been a good par with a whiff and a and a and a dented seven iron. That would have been a good par. But it's okay. It's all right. We gotta hold together here. Yep. It's a whiff bogey. All right, we got 184. We're back on. Nice up and down there for bogey after a whiff, a rock whiff. Uh, I got a five iron. I don't need to kill this, but I put a nice swing on it. Get right. Yeah, just pin high. I'm barely on the left fringe. This is an awesome golf hole. Awesome golf hole. We got about 30 feet for birdie. Who would have thought, you know, got a nice little look. It's just going to fall left to right. Once we get it on this, it's going to kind of fall towards the hole. Got to hit it with uh, some integrity here. I had a bug right when I pulled it back, right in my ear. I still hit pretty good putt.
Okie dokie, made a par. We are seven over through 11, which means we need some work. It's par 71. So we would need to play even par for 78 from here on in. We can do that, we can do that. Four sixty par four. You just gotta step up. Pretty much dead straight. Just step up and hit a good one. God. That's awful. So I gotta hit it short of that huge bunker up there, and then uh, try to wedge it close. Twenty-three. Gonna hit a wedge. God, I'm just hitting it so bad. I just cannot hit the golf ball right now. Fucking a! Everything just feels horrific, Bush. For par, what a, what a par this would be. Turning into the tap-in bogey king. That's what we're turning into. Not what we want to turn into. Just slap dicking it around. Tap in bogey guy. Okay. Another bogey. Let's hit some good shots, okay? All right, I'm gonna throw score out the window. This, I'm starting to think too much about what my score's at, what do I wanna shoot? You just gotta swing. You just gotta swing the golf club at some point. I'm not really swinging. I'm very, uh, I'm also very uncomfortable, if we're being honest. This is not my best environment. 6 a.m. tee time, playing alone, grinding. I'm more of like a noon tee time, a couple cocktails before, music blaring. Can't really feel that much. Loosey goosey, and you add them up and see what happens. Whereas this is a little grindy for me. So let's just swing. Let's act like we're drunk and let's just swing right now. There we go. Tight draw. Okay. Okay, okay. Act like we're drunk. One, five, three. There's a little left of it, I think. And we're just, we're acting like we're drunk. Maybe even, maybe not drunk, maybe a little buzzed. We're acting like we're a couple cocktails in. We're just swinging. Yeah, this is fun. Music's playing. A little tea swizzle. just not hitting it, man. I just can't compress the ball. Slappy and shit. That's not even close. Look how short that is. Fucking horrific. God, it just doesn't feel good when I hit it, you know? Fit. Fit. Better. So afraid of blading it that I have to just use a square club face and hit the leading edge underneath it and then just run it. Running. The ball was running. Can't hit the ball, but we're making some par. Imagine if you could hit the golf ball in the air at the proper distance and on the right line. Sandy. Had two bladed bunker shots I got to play, basically. And two pretty good ones, so 50%. Par five, about 500 yards. What we got here is a double fairway. You got kind of a wash, deserty situation up the middle. You got a left fairway, you got a right fairway. Right fairway's tighter. Left fairway is a little more wide open, but obviously the better angle's up the right. So we do here what anybody would do, is we aim up the middle and hope you just do what we always do, which is miss. Right up the middle. Get a little left, please. Soft, now soft. Soft. Yeah! <laughs> Just hung on the left side up there. All right, I don't really have what it takes to get there. Not the biggest hitter in the world. That was a little smothery, it didn't really fly. So I'm gonna hit a layup to what should be inside 100 yards or so. There's a bunker over there, folks. Yeah. Pushed it. Very, very frustrating. Silly game. Come on, man. 
anywhere else. It's just totally fine. What the hell am I gonna do? Try to hit that? I don't think I can even try to hit it. <laughs> you ready for this? All right, so I think I'm gonna hit a nine iron. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to hit it like this. Onto that grassy knoll. Cause we're only about a hundred, we're about 105 yards out. If I take an unplayable, I'm gonna be in this shit anyways. So I think I can lefty hockey it somewhere near that grassy knoll. If it gets onto it, it'd be pretty, pretty diabolical. You ready? I think I gotta have a pretty good swing here. Okay. Okay. 104. Uphill for show. All right. I think we're okay with that. After the bush incident, great bush incident of 2023, I think we're okay with that. Par look, hardest hole in the course. I found it pretty hard. I think the first drive of the day is the only shot I've hit so far that I was proud of. This is going to be completely perfect. Uh, capturing of my game right here where I just hit kind of a muffin drive that was like okay absolute flare shit lay up under a bush weird like hockey lefty shot that I had to hit under the bush kind of a thin but not bad wedge out of a bunker to about 15 feet and then make a par and move on par would be a net birdie by the way Okay, a little mystery. Thought that was gonna snap a ruski. Hardest hole on the course. It's a net par for me. Yeah, the bush screwed me for making a net birdie, but we made a net par. It's totally fine. Uh, this one's a absolutely sick hole, but it's a beast. 235. Downhill though, and it's kind of a fun one. You really should just land it short right with even a little draw and it kind of chases on. If it gets onto the green with any speed, it could race all the way back down to that back left pin. So uh, I got the two iron. I need to hit a, hit a good one here. God, I'm just hitting the ball so bad. Holy cow. Not the worst spot. A little short, right? Again, if you hit it with any kind of integrity up in here, it usually kind of has a little chase to it and get on the front, roll it back there. But we did not hit that with any integrity. That was a, a putt, that, that two iron lacked honor. Okay. We're about four seconds behind the maintenance crew. So they're watering it and we're playing wet, which is, uh, you know, you gotta stop making excuses and just adjust. It helps too if you hit the golf ball a little bit. That'd be nice. Oh, this is getting into the grindy part. It's getting hot. All right. Not the worst bogey in the world on that hole, but we're leaking. Three par fours coming home. This one's cool. 315 uphill. I got the old three wood. Try to smash one pretty good up the right center. Then we'll play the next shot after that. We'll just keep doing that. A little toey, but it's in the fairway. Yeah, nice bounce to the right. There we go. At least I don't, it doesn't look like we're underneath a bush there. Let me, so that's good. We got 122, I think it's a back pin, it looks like. Uh, uphill into the wind. It's on the green, but I still just can't hit it anywhere close to the hole. But, you know, we got a putt, so that's cool. That's very exciting. Yeah, two and a half holes left. Let's get the energy up. Let's try to hit a good putt. Come on. Come on. 
Gotta find something. You gotta dig deep. Let's roll on in for the fellas. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Jonesy wants it, everybody wants it. Didn't really break for him, did it? Okay. Okay, we made a par, everyone. Everybody calm down. We did it. This is a fun one. This is like a, this is a little carnival ride, baby, with all these slopes. You can just send it out down the right center. Catch a slope chase down there. Come on. Get a little left. Yeah. All right. I don't know that it caught the full slope, but I think that's pretty good. Good swing here. Give ourselves a look for bird. Diesel. If we go par par, I believe that would be an 81, which is I'm the 81 king. I've been 81, 81 god for years. If you go back like seven years ago, we started talking to the pot. I was like, I think I shoot 81 every time I play golf. I believe if you look at the, I was like no course in the world I couldn't find a way to shoot 81 up. I believe if you go look at the gin app, my average score for the year is like 80.4 or something. That's <laughs> literally, that's right there. Yeah, oh yeah. So. That would be with a, a par par finish. 18's like, 18's an absolute behemoth, but we're gonna focus on this shot. This shot's inviting as poor. 137. Let's hit a little nine iron in there. I think that's the shot. This is a draw lie. Start it just right of that pin. Let the slope take it a little. Let's just have some fun here, you know? Golf's so fun. So fun, you know? Golf's so fun. All right, we got birdie luck once again. All right. Let's make a putt here. Let's make a fucking putt. Make a birdie, baby. I was, I was already singing, I made a birdie. Birdie, birdie, birdie. I now know what it feels like to make a birdie. And then I didn't make a birdie. Ah! Sorry, Brennan. <laughs> I know your fate, Brennan. <laughs> I had to be devastated. <laughs> Okie dokie, we got a 492 par four. This is a kind of a fun one like the last hole. You just gotta send it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's great. Oh baby, look at this shot. Are you kidding me? Oh my Lanta. What are we gonna do here? Ha! <laughs> we might lose me, Bush. <laughs> I think I can whack something up there though. It's not what you wanted to see on the 18th and finale hole. Speed! Is that good? It's going right side. I didn't see it land. Kind of smoked it. Yeah, I thought it was drawing a little. All right, 134. Into the wind. I think it's playing closer to 140 again. I'm going to hit this little nine iron. Oh, horrible bounce. Way left. Okay, yeah, I mean, I will say it's gonna be nice when we're done with this. It's gonna be like 9.30 in the morning and I will have already grinded 18 holes on camera by myself, not drinking, but at trying to psych myself into thinking I'm drunk so I play better. Hitting it horrifically, I bladed two bunker shots. I've gotten a couple pretty bad breaks and you know, we're gonna potentially shoot like 82. So tighten things up a little bit. That could be right around mid 70s. Dr. Chapinski, come back. Come back, come back a little. You gotta hit it a little harder for it to come back. 
get it into the house. This is a lightning fast part, I believe. Right in the heart. Oh, thank God. So there's this really cool invention that called, um, it's indoor, it's called air conditioning. That I think everyone's extremely excited to get inside of. <laughs> nice to be back on the YouTube channel, hitting shots. I'm about to fall over because I'm running out of gas, but 83. I did everything pretty terrible. Um, so if we're just less terrible at golf, we might be able to shoot something in the mid 70s. But um, Wikopa, awesome spot, fantastic. And uh, let's go experience, you're gonna love this air conditioning stuff, Bush, really good, really good.